Point in Allison. Morning, we're just starting lying on our back when you're ready. So you can just take your time. So just finding a, a comfortable position, just lying down. Just take a little bit of time just to start to come away from your morning and begin to draw your attention inwards. Start to focus on your breath. So just allowing the breath just to deepen naturally. Just breathing in and out through your nose. And then as your breath starts to even out, just noticing your body, just how it feels this morning. Just allowing any areas that feel tight, try and allow them to relax. Maybe directing your breath towards those areas. Just allowing the body to relax onto the mat. And then as your body starts to soften, then just notice how you feel. So just allowing any thoughts that you're having just to come and go. So trying not to get caught up in any particular thought. So today we're gonna to do a loving kindness practice. So I found this quote, it's actually by um, a US senator, which sounds quite surprising when you hear the quote, but it's no matter what, we always have the power to choose, hope over despair, engagement over apathy, kindness over indifference, and love over hate. So in these challenging times, which we're still facing, it's important that we keep our practice of kindness going. So not only to one another, but also towards ourselves. So we're gonna try and think about just dealing with ourselves in a, a very kind way throughout the class this morning. So when you're ready, we will start to move a little bit. So you could start just by moving your fingers and your toes. And then if you're not already, you could bend your knees so your feet are flat on the floor. And then just lift the knees up towards your chest. So just drawing them in gently, maybe circling in one direction. And still keeping that breath going in and out through your nose. And then changing direction, so just moving the other way. So in order to, to work in a kindness practice, we really need to tune in to what our body's telling us. So in order to do that, we're gonna do a little bit of core work just to warm up through the center of our bodies. So when you're ready, you can put your feet flat on the floor again. And you can either sit your hands behind the back of your head or you can reach them along your sides, whatever feels best. But it's better to support your head than hands behind the back of the head. So take a deep breath. Um, and we're going to lift the upper body up. So you can breathe out there. We'll breathe in again. We're going to lift just a little bit higher. And then on your exhale, we're going to lower just to halfway. So on the inhale, we lift the upper body up. And as you exhale, just lower down. But we're not coming all the way down. So again, inhale to lift. And exhale halfway. We'll do that a couple of more times, so just lifting up, just the way you feel you can. And do that once more. And then lower yourself all the way down to the ground. So we'll pick the knees back up again. 
I'm going to do a similar thing, but with the lower body as well. So again, hands behind the back of the head or reach the hands along your sides. So as you inhale, lift the upper body, exhale there. And as you inhale again, we're going to lift the knees up. So you lift your tailbone a little bit and then lower halfway. So you lower the tailbone, keep the upper body lifted if you can. So again, inhale, lift the tailbone. So draw the knees in a little. And exhale, release the tailbone down. So do that again. Again, if you find it's too much, you can always lower your upper body and just to the lower body rather than your upper body as well. So breathing and lift up. And breathing out, lower down. We'll just do that twice more, so nice and slowly in your own time. Um, one last time. Okay, from there, lower the upper body down. Draw your knees towards your chest. Maybe take the hands by the back of your thighs. And then we'll just roll just back and forwards just a couple of times. And when you're ready, start to make your way up to sit in. So we'll come into Supasana when you're ready. So just this easy cross of the legs. Again, sit on a block or a blanket or whatever to help you to sit more upright. Relax the shoulders down your back. So creating space in the upper body is, is good for the breath. So try and relax the shoulders. Lift a little bit through the crown of your head. And then as you're in here, we're just going to reach the arms up. So just stretching up through the sides of your body. And on the exhale, bring the palms towards your heart. So do that again. So inhale again through your nose, reaching up, stretch through the side body. And exhale, palms to your heart. Do that one more time. So inhale, reaching up. And exhale, palms to your heart. Now this time, as you know, we're going to open the arms wide, maybe look up a little bit. So really draw, so a lot of um, kindness practices working through the chest, opening in the chest. And then as you exhale, we're going to round in. So you're going to hug yourself. Again, being kind to yourself, dropping your chin down. So as you inhale again, open up through the chest. Maybe look up if that feels okay for your neck. And then on the exhale, just rounding in. Clasping what you can. So once more, inhale, reach up. And exhale. Now this time, open the chest up. So we'll take your arms out to the side just. And then we're going to take the hands behind your back. Just clasp them gently behind your back. And then draw the shoulders down your back. But try and feel like you're kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Maybe even lift the hands away from your back a little bit if you can. And keep breathing now into the back body and the side body. Try not to let the shoulders rise up too much and bend the elbows a little bit as well. Take one more deep inhale. Just slowly start to release your arms. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit towards the back. And then we'll do that again. So bring the hands up. So we'll open up through your chest as you inhale. Maybe look up if that feels okay. And then on the exhale, just rounding and cooling the arms, pulling your belly in as well. So again, inhale, open and reach. And exhale, rounding in. Okay, we'll do that one more time. So inhale, open up. And on the exhale, rounding in. And this time, reach the arms just out to the sides. Again, we'll take them behind your back. So we're going to change your grip a little bit. So moving one finger up. So relax the shoulders down your back. Draw the shoulder blades together and open up through your chest. So a kindness practice features heart opening and back bending. So we'll be doing a little bit of each of these. We'll do obviously a full body practice as well, but just to 
Thank you. We are we were going with that. Um, one more deep inhale and then release the arms. This time maybe circle your shoulders round towards the front. Okay, we'll make our way to all fours now. So just coming round to an all fours position when you're ready. Take your time coming in on that. And um, when you come in, we'll have the hands under the shoulders and the knees underneath your hips. Okay, so as we come in, we're just going to do a few cat cows here. So just when you're ready, on an inhale, drop the belly and then pull the chest forwards. And on the exhale, draw the belly in and round through the upper back and shoulders, so pressing the mat gently away from you. So do that again, so inhale, drop the belly and lift through your heart. And on the exhale, round again. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Everybody okay there? And on your next one, we're just going to move back into a more neutral spine. So on your inhale, just coming in, still draw the belly up and in here. And then we're just going to tuck the toes today and we're going to press back downward facing dog. So just lifting your hips up. Maybe start with your feet quite wide here. And always bend the knees a lot. If you want to pedal through your feet, then do that. Maybe giving the head a little shake, if you like. Okay, from there, we're going to move forwards to plank. So you're just going to move forwards through your hands to that plank position. We will lower the knees down here towards the ground, but we are going to lower all the way to the ground. So you could bend your elbows and just lower your chest all the way down. When you get there, relax your feet. So we're coming in for a little cobra practice here. So we have the hands just beside your ribs, draw the belly in. Push your pubic bone down and maybe even press down through the front of your toes. And then as you inhale, draw your chest forwards again and lift up a little bit. So you have to come up too far. And on the exhale, just slowly release back down again. So we'll do that again. So inhale, coming up, try and draw the shoulders down your back as you do it. And then on the exhale, release back down. You do that once more. So again, inhale, coming up, draw the shoulders down your back. And on the exhale, release back down. Okay, from here, we'll just push back up to all fours. So just press yourself back up, walk your knees back in underneath your hips. And from here, we're just gonna step forwards with your right leg. So if you step your right foot through, now today, if you want to, you can keep your back knee on the ground, you can slide it back, or you could tuck your toes under on the back leg, just have the back knee lifted. Whatever you feel, you're going to get a better stretch. So we're coming in for a twist. So left hand to the down, ground, right arm reaches up. So draw the belly in, try and get the twist so that it's coming from your belly button, so you're feeling the rotation there. Open up through the chest. Again, keep the back knee down. If that suits you better and it feels better, then, do you know, it's all about a kindness practice. We want to listen to our bodies and then make the right decision for you. Okay, take one more deep inhale. Take that right hand back down. If you've got your back knee tucked, you might want to lift it now. We'll step back to plank. Again, you could lower your knees here. And then we're going to lower all the way down to the ground. So when you get there, untuck your toes, hands by your sides again, elbows drawing in. And then on the inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, release back down. And then on your inhale, push back up just to that all fours position again. So walk your knees back in underneath your hips. Okay, when you're ready, we'll step forwards with your left leg. So stepping in, maybe slide that right leg back again. Keep the right knee on the ground or tuck your toes and lift the right knee. 
So your hand on that right side can be on a block or on your fingertips and then reach and open through your left arm. So again, draw the belly in, keep the hips level, but rotate round through your belly button. Again, lower the back knee if it feels better for you. Okay, take one more deep inhale. And then again, release the hand down towards the ground. So if you have your back knee on the ground, tuck your toes and lift the back knee. Set to plank once more. And again, bend your knees if you'd like, or lower all the way to the ground. When you get there, flatten out on your feet. Draw your elbows in. And as you inhale, lift the chest to cobra. On the exhale, release down. As you inhale, push back up. So into that all fours position, so walk the knees in. And then this time, as you exhale, we'll tuck the toes and lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. Again, make any movements, bend your knees, and maybe go to child's pose. So if it's better for you to move to child's pose here, then do that. So one of the biggest things in your business is learning to, to listen in to our bodies and to work where our bodies want us to work, rather than where your mind tells you to, because your mind is, is the ego really, and it will, it, will, it will lie to you. It'll tell you you're capable of doing things when you're not, but your body will never lie. Your body will always tell you the truth. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale here. When you're ready, we'll lift the heels. We'll walk with the feet up towards your hands. So just take your time coming up. When you get there, maybe feet hip distance apart. Just allow the upper body just to fold forward here. And you know, just allow the hands to go where they'll go. If you want to rest them on your legs or just allow them to dangle down into that. Maybe move a little bit side to side. So you could sway, you could take hold of your elbows, just whatever really feels right for you. And keep the breath flowing. Okay, when you're ready, we'll release the hands back down. As you inhale here, lengthening forwards. And then on the exhale, just folding back in towards your legs. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, we'll bring the palms together just in front of your heart. And maybe just take a moment just to notice how you feel when you come up to standing. And again, just checking in to see how your body's feeling, what you want to do next. Okay, we'll release the hands and open the eyes. So, Standing with your feet either hip distance apart, maybe coming a little bit closer with the feet if you'd like. We'll lengthen through the muscles of the legs and relax the shoulders down your back. So on an inhale again, reaching back up with the arms. And then as you exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. On the inhale here, lengthen. And as you exhale, we're gonna step back with your right leg. So as you step back to the runner's lunge, you could stay with your hands either on blocks or just on your fingertips and just stay there. Or if you prefer, we're gonna come up to that high lunge. So as you inhale, coming up to that crescent lunge position. Again, the arms could be lifted. They could be by your chest or on your hips, whatever feels right. And try to bend the back leg a little bit just to allow you to tilt the pelvis forward. And then either keep the back leg bent or you could start to straighten it out, but just whatever feels best to you. Trying to relax your shoulders down your back. So you're taking the shoulders away from your ears. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale here. We'll take the hands back down towards the ground. From here, we'll step back to plank. Again, lower your knees if you'd like, and then bend your elbows and lower all the way down towards the ground. Release the toes if you've got them tucked. Hands by your sides, and as you inhale, just lift your chest a little. As you exhale, 
release back down. And then we're going to push back this time to downward dog. So you can still come up onto your knees and then tuck your toes or just make your way up just in your own time, in your own way. And when you get there, make any adjustments. Try and push up and out of your shoulders. So create space where you can and soften where you can. So sometimes just relaxing your jaw. You can do that by smiling. So sometimes just smiling helps to relax the jaw. Maybe just soften your eyes. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, we'll lift your heels. Look to your hands and either step or walk towards the top of your mat. As you inhale, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, just folding back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, hands be the heart. Inhale, reach back up with the arms. As you exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. Inhale, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, we'll step back with your left leg this time. So again, keep your hands on the ground, maybe grab your blocks, belly pull down, and then as you inhale, maybe coming up to that crescent lunge. So when you get there, maybe start to bend the back knee a little bit, and you can keep it bent, but use that to allow you to tilt the pelvis and to lift the low belly. Again, sometimes we create a lot of tension in our faces because we're concentrating so much so you know maybe soften your eyes a little bit maybe just soften your shoulders okay take one more deep inhale when you're ready we'll release both hands back down towards your mat so again we'll step back to plank and then lower your knees if you'd like. And then bend your elbows and lower all the way down towards the ground. So draw your elbows in, press your toes down. And as you inhale, come up, cobra. On the exhale, release back down. And then if you want to push back onto your knees or just move back to downward facing dog in your own way. Still making any movements when you get there, if you'd like. But think about drawing the belly in. Think about lifting the hips up. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. When you're ready, lift your heels, look to your hands. Either step or walk towards the top of your mat. As you inhale, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, fold back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, hands meet the heart. Okay, we'll do that again. So inhale, reaching with your arms. Exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. Inhale, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, we'll step back with your right leg. So either keep the hands here, or on the inhale, reaching up with your arms. Relax the shoulders down your back. When you're ready, release the hands back down towards the mat. Step to plank, lower the knees and lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra, so lift the chest. And as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Again, take your time, maybe keep your knees bent here to lift the hips a little bit higher. Sometimes bending the knees helps. Okay, when you're ready, we'll lift the heels, look towards your hands, step or walk towards the top of your mat. 
as you inhale, lengthening forwards. On the exhale, fold back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, hands be the heart. Inhale, reaching with your arms. Exhale, fold forwards towards your legs. Inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, we'll step back with your left leg. So again, keep the hands on the ground. Or as you inhale, reaching back up with your arms. Here on the exhale, release the hands down. Step to plank, lower the knees if you'd like, and lower all the way down. As you inhale, cobra. And on the exhale, press back, downward facing jump. Maybe take a deep breath in through your nose, maybe sigh it out your mouth. And when we talk about kindness towards ourselves in yoga, it's not in kind of a narcissistic way, but it's really in a kind of loving way. And the idea that is that if we cultivate kindness towards ourselves, then it radiates out to others as well. So it's not in kind of a selfish way, but it's in a, a giving way. But, you know, it starts with you. It starts with all of us inside. Okay, when you're ready, lift the heels up to your hands and either step or walk towards the top of your mat. As you inhale here, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, just folding back in. As you inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, hands meet the heart. Again, maybe just close your eyes down, just notice how you're feeling. Notice how your breath is. Okay, we'll release the hands and we'll open the eyes. So we're going to come in for our balance posture. We're going to do tree today. I just thought we'd just take a nice tree posture and be kind to ourselves. So use a wall if you'd like to make any modifications to it if you'd like. So we're going to stand on your right leg. Again, use your core. So really draw the belly in, spread your toes as well. Maybe bring your left heel just towards your ankle, maybe up towards the inner part of your calf, or maybe drawing that leg up towards the inner thigh, just whatever it feels best to you. And we'll start today just with the palms towards your heart. And again, you can stay there if you would like. If you want to, you might want to start to reach the arms up. So maybe start with quite a wide posture so you can have your hands fairly wide. You can always bring them together or maybe create a little chin mudra. So that's just the thumb and the first finger with your hands as they go up. Soften your elbows. So balanced postures help to still the mind because we have to concentrate so much on our balance that it's difficult for our minds to do anything else. Okay, so we'll take one more deep inhale, we'll release the hands first, so maybe bring them towards your heart, and then maybe just pick the knee up in front of you and bring the foot down. And then maybe closing your eyes down, just noticing what's happening in your body. Okay, we'll release the hands and we'll change sides. So you can start maybe with your feet just a little bit wider apart so you're not too constrained. And then spreading your toes, drawing the belly in to take the weight onto your left leg. Bring your heel again towards that ankle. Maybe move it up or maybe draw it towards the inner thigh. And sometimes the kindness just simply refers to us being kind to ourselves because one side of our body is not the same as the other. You just have to be accepting of that. And then if you want to this time again, maybe reach the arms up, maybe bring the palms together and take the arms up if that feels like something that your body wants to do. Whatever feels right. Okay, 
and use the breath. So if you feel yourself either losing your posture or using your breath, try and draw it back in. Well done. So we'll release the hands first of all. Maybe pick that knee up again. And then just bring your feet together. And again, maybe close your eyes down. Notice what your, your mind is saying. Hopefully it's being kind to our efforts, because it's the experience that matters. It's the experience of our, us doing the posture rather than what we achieve in the posture. Okay, we'll open the eyes, release the hands. So we're gonna come in and do some standing postures now. So do you know, grab a block, it might help you. We will be doing um, a wide life forward fold. So it's always handy to have a block for that if you need it. And a couple of other postures. But we'll come in towards the top of your mat again and we'll do a sun salutation again. If it's not what your body's looking for today, then skip it. You can always just step back with your left leg to warrior one, if you'd like, or just move straight to down dog without doing the vinyasa part. But start with your feet either together or a little bit apart, lengthen through your legs, relax the shoulders, use your core to support you. And then as you inhale, reach up with your arms. On the exhale, folding forwards towards your legs. As you inhale here, lengthen forwards. And on the exhale, we'll step back to plank. Again, you could do the same thing, lowering your knees and taking a cobra, or maybe just take it down to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And then as you exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Breathing deeply. Okay, so we're gonna step through with your right leg when you're ready. So step it up towards your hands, take your time, bend your front leg and spin on the heel of the back leg. So coming up just for warrior one when you're ready, moving into it, relax the shoulders. Try and get the same feeling that you had when you were in the high lunge. So, do you know, we've still got this idea of the hips being forward, that little tilt in your pelvis, the belly drawn up and in, and the shoulders nice and relaxed down by your side. You can bring the hands together if you'd like to, in what you want, but only if it feels right. But as a sense of constriction to your shoulders, then they don't bring the hands together. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale here. And then we'll move to warrior two. So just coming around in your own time, making adjustments as you need to through your feet. Maybe stretching from fingertip to fingertip. So maybe even looking along your back hand, just making sure it's not kind of dropping down too much. Watch your front knee as well. It tends to kind of roll in a little bit. So we need to keep pulling back on that front knee. Good. And imagine that you're your arms are, are floating in water. So that's kind of the sense that you want. You don't want to be creating tension in your shoulders. There's a little bit of tension through your fingers because you're stretching from finger to fingertip. But essentially the arms are pretty relaxed. Okay, take one more deep inhale here. We're gonna to start to work the front leg straight. So we're just gonna straighten the front leg and moving in for Trikonasana. So try and pull back on your left hip a little bit and then start to draw yourself forwards. And then when you can't go any further forwards, we're moving down to triangle. So maybe towards your leg, maybe you grab a block. Maybe you reach the top hand up. Again, if it doesn't work for you, maybe drop the top hand behind your back if that works better. And just come to where it feels right to you. Good. So imagine with Trikonasana that you have a wall behind you and you're trying to lean your left hip and your left shoulder back towards that wall. So we're not trying to get further down. And again, this is where we have to listen in to our bodies. So if, if your body's screaming at you, to stop something, then you know, try and try and stop before it's screaming. And also listen to your breath. So if the breath becomes too laboured, then the posture is not right. Because you know, 
It's not yoga if, if the breath's not there. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale and then slowly start to lift your body up. So pull your belly in and lift your body back up. Well done. Okay, you can release your hands here, but we're going to turn the toes on that right foot forward. So try and align your feet when you're coming in for this wide leg forward fold, make any adjustments to it. Maybe turn the toes in a little bit towards one another and then lift. So lift your belly and lift your chest up. Maybe even reach the arms up. And you don't have to keep your arms up as you come forward. You could just fold forwards from there. If you want to keep your arms forward, then that is fine. It's a lot of weight on your lower back. So, you know, you could just fold forward then. Maybe hands to your thighs and stay there. Or maybe release down and then release the arms. And the arms, you know, if they're dangling there, that is fine. If you want to grab a block, and have the block in front of you, then using that. And again, you're using the block to try and encourage the weight of the body slightly forward. So a lot of the time the body weight will rock back to the heels. So try and encourage it forwards a little bit through the balls of your feet, even if you're not getting far down. And bend your knees a little bit if you feel that that will release the tension that you feel. If your hands are on the floor, you can walk them back towards your feet a little bit, but just work where it feels right. Okay, we're gonna to start to make our way back up. So you can definitely pull your belly in, but you can bend your knees if you feel that's better for you to move back up again. Good, and then when you come back up, we're gonna turn the toes out the way. So you can just turn both toes, out to the side. So we're going to come in for goddess now. So with both toes turned out, and again, you can adjust your feet position if that helps you. We're going to start to bend the legs. So try and keep the shoulders over your hips as you bend your legs. And you can have your hands either towards your chest, so just in that heart position, or maybe reach the arms up, maybe with that chin mudra again, but only if it feels right to you. If it doesn't feel right, then release the hands down. Good, well done. So sink just maybe one little more inch if you can. Excellent. And then slowly make your way back up again. So we'll just straighten the legs for a moment. Okay, from here, we'll turn the toes of that right leg towards the top edge of your mat again and re-bend it. Just come back to warrior two. And then from here, release the hands down towards the ground. Turn on the toes of your back leg. And we'll just step back to plank. So again, we'll lower all the way down towards the ground. So you could bend your knees or bend the elbows and lower yourself down. So once more, when you get there, flatten out your feet. Hands pulling in towards the sides, elbows drawing in. And then as you inhale, just lift the chest up. On the exhale, just fold back down again. Okay, as you inhale, we'll just push up to your knees. This time we're going back to child's pose. So just press yourself all the way back to child's. So relax the arms, relax the upper body, maybe drop your head down if that feels right. And tune back into your breath. So it's really important that we keep the breath moving the whole time. We keep the breath present. And you're always aware. So, you know, sometimes the breath might become a little bit shorter. That doesn't matter. It just matters that you're, you're mindful of the breath. You're aware of the breath. Okay, when you're ready, we'll take our time to come just back up to all fours, first of all. So moving into that all fours position. We're going to tuck the toes under and lift the hips up to downward facing dog again. Again, maybe move through your feet or your hips. And we'll just come straight in and do the other side. So your left foot is going to step up towards the top of your mat, turning on the heel of that right leg, place it down 
and start to move up. So just take your time coming into, relax the shoulders, breathe. So yoga without the breath is really like a river without water. So it's still a river, but it doesn't flow anywhere. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. And from here, again, moving into warrior two. So taking your time to move into, adjust your feet, adjust your arms. Maybe look behind you just to check out what that back arm is doing. And again, sometimes in a warrior practice, when we're doing warriors, they're quite fierce, you know. So practicing kindness, comes from within, so you know, sometimes we don't show it. So just smiling can help to show that. And if you don't feel like smiling today, then don't worry. Don't worry about it, but if you do, just a little smile. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. So we're going to start to straighten your front leg now. So just working it straight a little bit. Try not to lock the knee joint out. Pull back a little bit on your right hip. And then start to move in. So lengthening forwards and then releasing down. So again, to a block to your leg, your foot or the floor, reaching up. So try not to let the left hip now drop out to the side. So try and pull the left hip in. Good. If you could reach your top arm up just a little bit more, so it's in line, that's it. So it's in line with your bottom arm. And try and make sure you're pulling the shoulder back a little bit. So not to the extent that you're feeling it tensing, but try and drop the shoulder down your back so the shoulder releases rather than tightens up. So draw the inner thighs, pull the belly in and keep the breath present. Okay, when you're ready, we'll start to move back up again. So draw your belly and start to rise back up. Again, release your arms down, so that will help to release some tension. And turn your left foot forward. So again, we're coming back in for this wide leg forward fold. So this time, if you want to, you can do the same thing. So you can reach up and pull forward. If you want to, you can take your hands to your hips. And then as you inhale, lift your belly and lift your chest. But when you're coming forward, use your hands just to press the hips back. And then maybe even take them behind you so they're on your bottom and try and lift the hips up a little bit. So the hips move back, but the hips move up. Draw the belly in. And you can keep your hands on your hips when you get there. Relax the upper body down and try and draw the elbows up a little bit. So the elbows kind of lift up just gently, not to the extent that they're pulling in, Maureen. So you don't want the elbows to kind of drop. That's it better. Just relax them, but keep them so that they're not dropping forwards. Okay, well done. And you can always release the hands down now if you feel that that's better. Again, use your block again. Bend the knees. Good, very nice. Okay, so once more, we'll start to move back up again. So maybe bending the knees, but definitely drawing the belly in as you come up. So you use your core strength to move back up. And then you get there. We'll turn the toes back out again. So we'll come back in for goddess. So toes turning out. Again, adjust your feet if you need to. And then start to bend the legs. So keeping the shoulders over your hips as you do it. Good, hands towards your heart. Maybe lift your hands up if you feel that that was useful the last time. And then this time you can either maybe lift one heel or maybe you could start to lift both heels up, but sink the hips another little inch if you can. Good. Okay, we'll release the heels back down. Start to straighten the legs and release the arms. 
So turn the toes again on that left leg towards the top edge of your mat. Rebend the legs to come back in just for that warrior two position just for a moment. And then release both hands back down towards your mat. So turning on the toes of your back leg. Step to plank. Again, lower your knees. And then lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Okay, when you get there, again, flatten out your feet. This time we're going to either take your hands along your side, so you've got your hands on the ground. Maybe reach them behind you, clasp them behind your back. Draw your feet together this time, so the big toes touch. And then as you inhale, either just lift the chest, or maybe lift the legs in the chest. So just coming in, put a little bit of locust. So draw your shoulders together at the back. Breathe deeply into the belly so that will help you lift. And think length as well. So stretch from the crown of your head all the way to your feet. Now then slowly release it all the way back down. Release your hands, bring them in front of your head and then just drop your head down. Well done. From there, we'll start to move back up. So we'll bring the hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back to all fours. So we're going to come in for a heart opening pose. So this is Anahatanasana. So again, knees underneath your hips. Walk your hands forwards. And then start to press the chest down. So just take it to where you can. Just moving to where it feels right to you. And use a block if you want to. When you come down, you can either take your chin down towards the ground or your forehead down if that reaches, but just figure that it feels right. Okay, we'll take one more deep inhale. Um, when you're ready, start to slowly come back up again. So just take your time walking your hands back. We're going to cross the legs over now. We're going to just come back to sitting. We're not doing anything fancy. So you can just sit back, but you can just sit back into a sitting position. We will just bring our legs forward. So we're going to come down. We're going to do a couple of bridges now. Again, that kind of back bending, heart opening. So if you want to, you can grab a block and you can do it in a more kind of restorative fashion. Um, otherwise, we're going to make our way down onto your back. So just take your time coming down. Walk your feet in a little bit. Spread your hands along the ground. And then as you inhale, we'll just lift the hips. Lifting up just the way that it feels right to you. So, you know, maybe just coming up to your upper back. If you're on your shoulders, then start to walk your shoulder blades underneath your back and clasp your hands. And if you do have a block, you might want to also take it between your legs so you can use it. And we take it kind of that way, so the longest way between your legs. And then use it just to kind of encourage that feeling of drawing the inner thighs in, which can help you move the bridge up a little bit more. But just whatever feels right. If it doesn't feel the right thing to do, then don't do it. If you are on a block, so you're doing a more restorative bridge, you can just stay there. If you're not on a block, we're going to come down so you can release the hands and then slowly lower yourself all the way back down. So we are going to come back up and do one more. So again, when you're ready, again, feet close in, feet hip distance, and then lift your hips up. So just pressing yourself up to whatever bridge suits you. Again, if you're using or if you're on your shoulders, draw the shoulder blades underneath your back and clasp your hands. But just what feels right to you. And breathe into that space that you've created. So 
you know, they've done a few studies and you can actually increase the capacity of your, your kind of lung or your breathing capacity by doing bridge and breathing deeply into that area. It can kind of stretch the muscles and allow more space there. Well done. Okay, when you're ready again, we'll come all the way down so you can release your hands. If you've got a block now, remove the block. Slowly lower yourself all the way back down towards your back. And we'll take the feet wide and just drop your knees towards one another. So just let the knees drop in. Okay, from there, separate your knees again and then bring your knees towards your chest. So we are just going to roll up for sitting. We've got a couple of seated postures to do. So in your own way, you can move up or roll up, whatever, whatever you feel like. And then we'll bring the legs in front of us. We're going to bring the soles of your feet together. So we're going to come in for Vadakanasana. Again, you don't have to be too kind of closed about it. So you don't have to pull your heels too close towards your bottom, maybe take them away a little bit. And grabbing hold of your feet, you can start to make your way in. So again, just to any degree here. So you have to come all the way down, but just taking hold of your feet if you want to. And the most important thing is really to relax a little bit, just do your head and neck. So even if you're quite high, just lower the head and the neck down. When you're ready, slowly start to move back up again. So just take your time. And then we're going to bring our feet in front of us. So we're going to come in for Paschimottanasana. So our seated forward fold. So again, bend your knees. Have your feet together and a little bit apart. Sit onto your sit bones. So again, not in an aggressive way, but just gently. And if you've got a strap and you want to use it, take that round the balls of your feet and then start to use that to draw yourself forwards a little bit. Otherwise, you can inhale and reach with your arms. And then on the exhale, just folding forwards. So taking hold maybe of your legs, your ankles, or your feet, wherever you are. Okay, and maybe try and draw the chest forwards a little bit and allow the shoulders to relax down your spine. And with your feet, if you think about kind of the inner part of your feet, moving away and the outer part of your feet drawing in. That will give you more of a stretch in your calves, especially if you've got either the strap or you've got hold of your feet. And with each breath that you take, try and relax just a little bit more. And okay, when you're ready, slowly start to make your way back up again. So just take your time, release your strap. You can give your legs a little shake off. So we'll make our way back down onto our mat. We're going to do a little twist before we come into Shavasana, but if you want to while you're sitting, you could put your socks on <laughs> before you come back down again. You could do that. So if you're popping your socks on, just take your time to do it. If, you've, if, you're, if you're all set, you can start to make your way down, but just take your time. So when you lower yourself back down, we're gonna be drawing your right knee towards your chest and your left leg is just gonna extend along the ground. So just a nice long position. 
So just drawing that right knee in a little bit. And we're going to take your left hand now. So just on top of your right knee and start to draw it over towards the left side of your body. So again, you could roll all the way over to your left hip if you want. You don't have to get that right knee down, but try and move it over a little bit. And you can stretch your arms out if you want, or maybe keep that left hand on the right knee so it adds a little bit of tension there just to stretch the hip. Okay, when you're ready, slowly make your way back into the center. Maybe draw both knees in just for a moment. So keeping the left knee in this time, extend the right leg away. Again, start to just gently draw the knee in just to loosen your hip flexor a little. And then when you're ready, just with the right hand on that left knee, start to draw the knee over towards the right. Just take it to where you can. Maybe keep your hand on the knee. Maybe turn the head towards the left. And then just when you're ready, start to make your way back towards the center. So again, you could draw both knees in, first of all. And then we're going to move into Shavasana next. So take your time coming in. Again, if, you, if you're all set, then just relax. If you need to pop something on to keep yourself warm, then I'll do that. We're going to do a little loving kindness meditation. So just taking a few moments just to come in. To relax. And just settling into an awareness of your body and of your breath. Start to feel into your body right now, just noticing what's here. And open to whatever is being experienced in the body in this moment. Connecting to the breath. Just noticing the wave-like movements of your belly. So we all have within us this natural capacity for loving kindness, or friendship that's unconditional, open, gentle, and supportive. Loving kindness is just a natural opening of a compassionate heart to ourselves, and to others. It's just a wish that everyone be happy. We begin just with developing loving kindness towards ourselves, allowing our hearts to open with tenderness. Now allow yourself to remember and to open up to your basic goodness. So you might remember times when you've been kind or generous. You might recall your natural desire to be happy and not to suffer. And if acknowledging our own goodness is difficult, then look at yourself through the eyes of someone who loves you. What does that person love about you? Or you may recall the unconditional love you felt from a beloved. And as you experience this love, notice how you feel in your body. Maybe you feel some warmth or heat in the face, a smile, a sense of expansiveness. This is loving kindness, a natural feeling that is accessible to us all, just resting within us. 
Just let yourself bask in the energy of loving kindness, breathing it in and breathing it out, inviting feelings of peace and acceptance. So beginning now to wish yourself well by extending words of loving kindness to yourself. Sometimes it helps if you say phrases that are meant to be kind to herself and allow us for these feelings to come up. These words express our wishes of loving kindness towards ourselves and others. And you can say these words to yourself in your mind. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be held in loving kindness. May I feel connected and calm. May I accept myself just as I am. May I be happy. May I know the natural joy of being alive. When you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale through your nose. And then we'll just sigh it out your mouth. So we'll do that again. So just deeply inhaling through your nose. And then just let it go. And then we'll start to move a little bit. So just your fingers and your toes, your hands and feet. Maybe stretching your arms overhead, stretching from your hands all the way to your feet. And then when you're ready, we'll bring the arms back over and start to bend your knees. So feet either flat on the floor or knees towards your chest, but just moving gently side to side or maybe rolling over onto your side. And then just when you're ready, we'll take our time to come up to sitting. So maybe keeping your eyes closed as you come up, there's no rush. And just finding a seat when you're ready. And then we'll just bring the palms together just in front of your heart. So leaving a little gap just to signify an openness in your heart. Thank you so much for coming on and practicing with me this morning. I hope you enjoy the loving kindness practice that we did. Namaste. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions at all, you can just ask if you want to unmute yourself. You can. Thank you, Gillian. That was brilliant. You're very.